Welcome to this first vlog in the course 1DV525 Introduction to Web Programming, uh, the 2019 edition. Uh, so in this format I'm usually just sitting here in the studio in Kalmar. Uh, it's not autumn in Kalmar right now, but that is actually an old recording. I'm, I'm about to make a new one that is more up to date with the weather and the, the climate today. Uh, so in this segment I will just talk a little bit about the status of the course, what you're supposed to have been done last week or this week, uh, and, 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 and what is about to come. I will also in this first one uh, show you how to, to get started with the first uh, examination assignment. But uh, let's swift uh, uh, shift over to, to the course web page. So, so this is more or less what you need to know. You find everything on this course web page. Uh, if you can't find it uh, using LNUSA slash student, where it actually should show up, then you can always visit it manually. You can Google for introduction to web program. It, it's usually quite high up. Otherwise, it's coursepress.lnu.se uh, slash kurs k u r s slash introduction dash to dash web dash programming. Um, everything here is open. You don't need to be logged in to CoursePress to to find this one. The only thing you need to log in to CoursePress to do is to book an examination appointment. But that is for the whoops sorry uh, for the second uh, examination. Uh, not the first one. The first one you don't need to be logged in at all. So we will focus on part one because that is the, the first part of the course. Uh, we will wait a little bit about with part two. Uh, so first of all to get you up to speed what you should have done by now. You should have looked at the course introduction that I held in Vecchia. Uh, oh I haven't uh, I thought I had updated this one. I haven't. Okay, I, I will do that uh, ASAP so, so that you have my recording from last week. I think I, I thought I posted it. Okay. Uh, after that, after you look at that, if you haven't, you should start with the first lecture, the HTML lecture. Uh, this one is a recording, uh, so you can watch that from 2017. It's still accurate. I've looked at it uh, uh, before the course started. Uh, and the same is for the sorry second uh, lecture, the CSS lecture. So look at those two. Uh, and when, when you're done with those two lectures, you can start with the examination assignment. And the, this is the first assignment in the course. It's uh, uh, mandatory. You need to do this assignment. And you have a deadline. Well, I updated that as well. Okay, I, I will look into that right after this. I record this vlog, so it's probably accurate when you look at this. So the deadline should be 2019, the 21st of, of September. Uh, in this practical assignment, uh, assignment, you will create a web page uh, and a website structure. Uh, you will do that by writing simple plain uh, HTML and CSS. Um, you can use tools if you like, uh, but for, for the ma majority, especially if you haven't done an HTML and CSS, try to keep, keep it as simple as possible. But if you are advanced, an advanced user of HTML and CSS, please feel free to use libraries uh, uh, and to extend your knowledge, basically. Now, we should do this using uh, Git, the version handling system Git. Uh, and I, I, I will give you a short introduction just how to get started with the assignment so you can just follow my, my guide. So the first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, I'm the, the, the majority of all of you have, have already done this, but the first step is, and I have those in, 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 uh, in, in this uh, news post, it says exactly what to do, but the first thing you need to do is to fill fill in the form at course.lnu.se slash profile and add your GitHub ID there. If you don't have a GitHub account, you need to create a GitHub account and then tell us what that account's name is. Uh, 
and that is because we want to give you the right to uh, we want to generate repositories in our organization that are connected to your github account after that you visit this one github.com uh, slash 1db525 the course code in that I will actually skip that I have this one prepared when, when you visit that one you will see a couple of public repositories and you will also see your student exercise repository your examination one two and three repositories so of course this exercise it's for the second part of the course you will be able to work with um, the exercises in the course in that uh, um, uh, repository so we don't need to think about that right now the only focus we need to have right now is for the examination one assignment and you have your repository for that assignment here so you click that one uh, and it says that it is empty there is nothing in this repository and that's a good thing because you're supposed to 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 add files to this repository what you need to do now is to clone this repository and this depends a little bit of how you have set, set up git on your uh, uh, machine for most of you i guess you have just follow the instructions and then you can uh, use the HTTPS uh, method of cloning. For me I have SSH keys and then I'm using this one but that, that, that doesn't matter. You click the copy button and then you go to the terminal. Uh, in this one I've, I've created a folder and I just called 1db5 to 5 to have all exercises and uh, assignments for this course. It's, it's okay not empty but uh, it's empty now uh, so it's 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 empty uh, what I need to do now is to do a git clone and this will get that repository down from github into your local machine but it will still have a connection to github so that you will be able to push your changing changes up to github I do a git clone I paste in the URL that I just copied and press enter uh, now uh, it might be that you have to authenticate yourself against github uh, you don't need to do that all the time you can save your authentication uh, uh, um, authentication information in uh, your computer that differ from linux to to windows to to mac os x but you can always search on how to do that it's quite uh, an easy process in my case it's cloned it says warning you have appeared to clone an empty repository we know that uh, it was supposed to be empty and I do a cd dot tst yo student dash examination one so I enter this uh, repository uh, my my terminal is set up with uh, some some add-ons so so that I get a fancy output like colored master and things like that uh, on, on your computer if you haven't installed something like that it will probably just be boring white but that is okay as well in this uh, folder I could either open Wisher Studio code and open this folder or I have a shorthand that is code dot so when I write code dot it says open Visual Studio code in that folder and now we're there and you can see that it's all empty um, what we need to do now to begin uh, working with this uh, uh, assignment is to add a file. And you should, when you work with HTML, you would probably want an index.html in the root folder. So I will start off by using adding a, an index.html in the root folder like that. Uh, now I have some shorthands, so I can use that shorthand to, 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 to just give me a boilerplate. I will, since I haven't talked about those meta uh, uh, elements yet I will just remove them and this would probably look a little bit like you are used to we should have a doc type as well something like that I think I've, I've talked about on the lecture so this is kind of just a boilerplate for, for the HTML and CSS and we could always try this out by doing a hello world like that Okay, how do we try this web page? Well, you can do this in, in different ways. One way is to actually, and I need to do this so that I'm a little bit secret about all files. 
Um, Like just opening a file explorer and I'm going into 1db525. Uh, no, sorry, I have that in temp actually. 1db525 and my repository, and then I double click this index.html and it will start and it will show hello world. Uh, so that is good. Now we have like started working on our HTML. Uh, next thing is to do a commit and push this to GitHub to make sure that that works as well. Uh, when using Visual Studio Code, you can always open a terminal inside of Visual Studio Code. Uh, it's quite convenient because then you have all, you have the terminal, you have the code, and you have everything in, in, in the same uh, window. Uh, what we're supposed to do now is to do a git commit. And before we can do a git commit, we need, need to do something called staging of our file status. So if I do a git status just to watch what are the state of my folder, it says that you have no commits yet, uh, you have uncracked files. And that is because I just added index.html, it's not part of the source control yet. And I need to add that to the source control. So I do that by writing git add and I can point on that file index.html or I could just use dot for every file. So often I add a couple of files and maybe CSS in a folder and stuff like that. By doing git add, it will add all, everything to the next commit. Do a git status again and you will see that it has changed. It says changes to be committed, new file index. So in the next commit we do, it says that this file will be added to the source control. Okay, I do a good git commit did git commit minus m, I add a message, uh, add index.html, like that. It says it has done a commit, everything looks great, but if we look at GitHub, it will still be if I reload this one, it's still empty because we haven't pushed any changes up to GitHub yet. Going back, then we do a git push. And what we'll, this will do is take all commits that you have locally and push them to GitHub. All done. Going back, refreshing this page. And now you will see that you have your index.html on Git, GitHub. You can also look at the commit history. And here you can see what all messages uh, that all, all commits basically. By this, it's not actually finished. Now you need to do something. You need to tell me that you have done your first commit in this examination repository. And that is because I need to activate GitHub pages for you so that this page is uh, uh, published on a web server. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot do that yourself because then you need to be admin of your repository and that means that you can do too much with your repository basically. So you have to tell me what I will do is to go into settings. I will scroll down. I will activate GitHub pages and I cannot do this until there is one commit. Uh, I'm activating GitHub pages and I will get this address. Uh, the form is the same for everybody. It's 1db525.github.io slash your repository name. Uh, and if we look at in this one, uh, even though if we remove the index.html, since, oh, no, that was not the correct one. Ah, it says, actually says site not found. If I reload, now it works. So it could sometimes take a couple of minutes before this activates. But since I, I uh, named the file index.html, I don't need to explicitly write index.html. It will be found anyways. That is basically it. Now you're good to go. Now you can work your way through the examination assignment, add HTML to this file, start adding CSS. Remember to always do a git add 
dot, git commit, and then the git push when you want to push this to GitHub. Uh, remember though, uh, looking at the instructions uh, for the first assignment and every, every assignment actually, uh, please, please, please make sure when you're supposed to submit your assignment, please follow those instructions. You need to do something called a release on GitHub. Let's have a look at that. So when you're in your repository on GitHub, there is something called releases up here. Press releases, create a new release and give it a tag name, for instance, version 1.0. If you like, you can write something in this message, it doesn't matter for us. And then you publish this release. And you do this when you think you are finished with the assignment. If you later on need to do an update, you create a new release, but you name that one 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1 and so on. That is pretty much it for the first assignment. Um, so start working on that one right now, because on Wednesday I will actually leave all of the HTML and CSS behind, and we will start looking at JavaScript, the number one and the number two lecture. What this is is, is a overview of JavaScript uh, and it's suitable for everyone that has programmed in another language before. I will not go into details like how does an if statement work or how does a for loop work because you should be pretty familiar with those concepts. However, I will show you how we do it in JavaScript and we will look at all the little things that are different in, in, uh, in JavaScript uh, because there are, I mean, JavaScript and Java are two totally separate languages. They, they stem from different uh, uh, roots in, 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 in the programming tree, so, so, so they're quite different. But we will have a look at that. Uh, so after Wednesday's lectures, and if you think you're finished with HTML and CSS assignment, or you think you want to kind of have another uh, something else to think about than just HTML and CSS, then you can start working on the exercises for the second part. And I recommend you to do the exercises first, uh, at least some of them, before you start with the first examination assignment. So after Wednesday, you're good to go with the exercises for the first assignment. However, maybe you could wait a week because we have this lecture five and six that are an introduction to JavaScript in the browser and you will kind of need those for the first exercise. I will probably don't do any new recordings for those so uh, because I cannot go to Vecro that Wednesday, so, uh, the next week. Uh, so you could probably start looking at them right now. They are recordings from last year and they are still up to date. Okay, uh, as usual, if you have any questions, please ask them in Slack. Uh, I will try to do a weekly vlog every Friday. Uh, if not Friday, it will like this come out on Monday, but, but once a week at least. Good. Have a nice week.